Cut it, cut it, cut it. In theory, this should be pretty straightforward. I had woodwork in high school, but I never um, paid attention in school. So. Hey guys, what's up? We're at Bunnings right now. I'm gonna build a kicker ramp today. It's gonna to be a little DIY tutorial. Hope you enjoy the video. Alright guys, I've got a list here of some of the stuff I need to get. Um, I'm going to start with the small stuff first and we're going to move on to the bigger items needed for this build. So yeah, we're going to start off getting some drill bits and some uh, wood screws. Masonry, is that wood? No, masonry is rock. Masonry is rock. Oh, there you go. Yeah, wood and plastic. That'll do us, I think. Just the cheap stuff. What else do we need to get? Screws. Great uh, selection. Jesus. Oh, they're a bit. Oh, there's a hex. Phillips. Do you reckon 10 will be enough? On to the next piece of the puzzle. Uh, So that will be the width of the, of, the, of the kicker. That'll be the width we're going to work with. Because it's much easier just to size it up for this bit of metal than having to having to cut and shut this. So we're going to go this way. Um, steel. We need, all right, we've got to go get the two by fours, plywood, and the masonite. This is the first time I've ever built anything. I'm not really a bloke. So uh, shout out to all the tradesmen out there. Now a couple of chippies. We've got to make sure they're flat. Some of them walk because they're left outside. Um. I don't want this one. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want this one. Yeah. So the width is going to be 600 mil. We might have to buy two. We have leftovers and we have leftovers, I guess. Use it for another project. It's a bit too thin though, I think. That's too thick. Oh no, no, no. That's what we want. How wide did we say it was gonna be? 60? 60. That should be plenty. Yeah, that's all we, that's all we need. Mason, we've got everything. We've got everything on the list that we needed. In theory, this should be pretty straightforward, but I've never built anything. I, I had woodwork in high school, but I never um, paid attention in school. So. $1,600, you get yourself a uh, wood-fired home. You could do a pizza. From what I've heard from my colleague here, we don't have good pizza in this country, so uh, if you want good pizza, you've got to go to the east coast of America. Northeast. Northeast. These barbecues, Bert. <laughs> should see what this is doing to my interior. <laughs> we've got this park over here, guys, um, Koshigai Park. Campbelltown is actually a sister city with a town in Japan called Koshigaya. So that means somewhere in Japan there's a park called Campbelltown Park, believe it or not. Alright, so we have all our supply here. We've got the plywood, we've got the masonite, um, we've got this steel section, we've got the 2x4s. We've lined out, if you can see, you can see that red pencil, we've lined out the sides. Um, we've done it in a way where you don't really need to know much mathematics. We didn't need to use Pythagoras theory. Theorem? Theory? Pythagoras theorem? Yeah. There's a website. I'll put the link in the description below. Kind of gives you a rough idea of how to how to make it. Kind of just looked at it and then um, we've done our own thing with this. So yeah, we've done it in a way you don't really need to use Pythagoras theorem. So I'm going to be using a circular saw today to cut this wood. So a little pro tip: um, if you're using a circular saw, there's a notch right there. You can see this one. That's where your cut is going to be. So you can measure the distance between this notch and the edge and you can put a bit of a 2x4 here. But make sure it's weighed down by either a clamp. We don't have clamps so we're going to use some bricks. Put the bricks on top or put your clamp on so it kind of runs straight. That's going to ensure that you get a straight cut all the way through. 
to wear safety it's, goggles. Like. Yeah, it's very important to wear your safety goggles. I just didn't chuck them on. But yeah, if you guys are going to do this at home, make sure you wear the correct PPE. Personal protective uh, equipment. Perfect. Okay, so right now we have our side templates cut out, the middle sections here. So we're gonna drill, we're gonna drill the wood first and then we're gonna uh, screw it in. There it is guys, we have the uh, basic structure of this uh, kicker. We just got to do the top sheet, masonite, and then the bit of metal, and then I think she's good to go. Oh, it's cheap, cheap drill bit. Nah, you use it wrong. What do you mean? As you can see guys, we got the uh, masonite all cut out. Just needs to be screwed in and we, uh, yeah, just need to screw in this bit of metal here and we're all done. Not bad for a uh, Sunday evening of a uh, couple of blokes on the tools, you know. There it is guys, not bad, not bad. Um, yeah, it's dark now, so I'm gonna wait till tomorrow and then shred this thing, but check it out guys. Very nice. Not bad for my first time ever building something of, uh, of worth. So it's dark now, so I'm gonna wait until tomorrow to skate this thing guys. Shout out to Harris for hooking me up with this, with this drill and some other assorted tools I needed for the job. Who's up? It's quick. Can I just test it? Yeah, of course. right now guys uh she's come loose oh well i'll know for next time how do you, how do you rate my handiwork since you're a, you're a tradie aren't you yeah right. shop fitter this place yeah out of 10 what do you think it's my solid five so. solid eight you could have done oh, okay it. yeah six. that's not bad all right there it is guys the diy instructional kicker video um kind of instructional 
Kind of not, I don't know. Hopefully you guys learned something from today's video. Comment down below what you guys want to see me build next. I'm going to do a few of these DIY videos of me building different features and stuff. Um, I want to hear what you guys think I should build. I have a few cool ideas in mind, but um, yeah, just it's just really going off my, my skill level with woodworking and all that. It ended up costing around 150 bucks to buy all the material for this video. I got a bunch of leftovers though, so I could have probably bought less, but I just kind of bought more to be safe. If you're new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, check out the rest of my videos. I'm from Australia, I like skateboarding, I'm trying to make the most out of my skateboarding journey here in the uh, land down under. Shout out to everyone that got in on the session at the park on the kicker. Shout out to Mr. G for filming. Shout out to Harris for uh, hooking me up with the power tools. <sighs> yeah, I think that's all the shout outs. But yeah, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video and learned something. Until next time, I will catch you all in the next video.